Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 1st, 2019. So my goodness, already in the fifth month, what an amazing year we have had so far this year. I gotta be honest with you, I can't remember in my 28 years of, or a little more than 28 years of trading, where I've seen a, a, a totally bearish market turn absolutely bullish and not look back. Um, it's been a tremendous year watching this market climb. So we went from just all of this bearishness here where we just couldn't buy a good story. Everybody was pessimistic um, on the market. There was just nothing going on good uh, to just suddenly recovering and firing itself all the way back up in um, a tremendous, just an absolutely tremendous um, rally. So as we move on and we continue this rally right now i want to point out that we have a, a a very real potential that the diamonds will run up here and attack an all-time high breakout here anytime it could happen today um, it could be uh, later this week anytime soon we could reach up here and try to close at that new record high at any time and we have a, a nice bullish gap up this morning that we're looking at um, we had a great round of earnings last night I'll show you some of those in just a second but um, looking very very positive here so I would expect here in the very near future that the diamonds is going to stretch out here and join its buddies the spy and the Nasdaq um, at new record highs so let's take a look at what's going on here yesterday we drew in kind of a hammer pattern now remember a hammer pattern um, has to have a good placement to be a true hammer and it requires a follow through. So a hammer that is very near the top is more what someone would call a hanging man pattern. So gapping through this morning to the upside, as long as we can hold this gap this morning and push on higher, um, I think the diamonds uh, look like they have that opportunity to move higher and look good. And we've uh, successfully held on to this support level here. So looking pretty darn good this morning. Let's take a look at the SPY. Looks like the SPY dunk on it I can't type looks like the spy is going to gap up to a new record open this morning a new record high at the open pushing on through after breaking through this level and successfully holding it yesterday after a little bit of selling you know we had a little bit of selling uh, yesterday morning um, the bulls fought their way back they just refuse they refuse to to allow any selling to occur or hold for any period of time so the bulls are just pushing 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 relentlessly higher here and we'll have to see how much much longer they can keep up that energy of course earnings will certainly continue to fuel that if earnings continue to come in positive as they have been so let's keep an eye on here looking for that gap up record open this morning let's take a look at the queues the queues after kind of a rough day yesterday of selling bounce back strongly and it looks like this morning they have a potential of gapping right back up into a new record high open so very very close to that record high open and, and this is all being fueled by a a wave of good earnings last night um, take a look at um, apple being the biggest player in the nasdaq and um uh, the very close to one of the biggest players in the dow you can see the apple um is pushing us significantly higher pushing uh significantly higher this morning and showing very good bullish signs uh this morning and that's following through um amd amd is another report last night that uh, reported very strong um gapping up this morning so those tech stocks looking pretty good uh, um, as their earnings continue to roll in and amd 
uh, pushing through higher as well. One you might want to be keeping an eye on for a potential trade. Now, last but not least is IWM. That poor IWM. Um, it just continues to languish here. Uh, doesn't seem to want to join in on the party. Maybe it just wasn't invited. I don't know. But um, we are in a little bit of a trend here. And we're struggling right in this area of price resistance. We just can't seem to find our way out of there. And this morning, IWM um, is also just kind of languishing here this morning, not looking to, to gap up or move with the rest of the market, at least at the moment. And it's just wanting to park right in here and um, dance around um, far below, far below new record highs. Um, so apparently they just, you know, they are the outsiders. They live on the wrong side of the tracks, I guess, and just weren't invited to the party. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX yesterday started up. We had a little bit of fear creep into the market. It started to start up yesterday, but boy, quickly turned around um, in the afternoon when those bulls just refused to let the market go down. And um, you can see that we're kind of hanging out here at a really good spot um, above this price support. No particular fear here in the market. And with this gap up this morning, I would expect um, this shooting star type candle to follow through um, to the downside here this morning on the VIX. So fear seems to be holding um, no major concerns here overall um, in the market. Let's take a look at T2122. It's at four week new high, new low ratio. And here's where we could run into some problems uh, depending on how bullish we happen to to get today um, as earnings continue to roll in so we'll we'll talk about that in just a second but we we did have that push down in um t2122 yesterday which opens the door we're, we're not back down here toward that 50 percent area but we're, we're we've got plenty of room now for an upside move here in the market we're going to get that this morning we're going to get a nice pop up this morning it looks like so we may be up here testing these upper areas very very soon we'll want to watch that closely as we reach those price resistance levels um, in t2122 that potential reversal zone but let's keep in mind that earnings can keep us up here much longer than one would expect when we kind of stretch things out. You know, it's what the market seems to do uh, nowadays. It's all or nothing. Um, so we get overexcited one direction and we stretch that rubber band as far as we can until it snaps. And then uh, we plummet for a while and everybody gets bearish and everything gets nasty and we overextend that. We stretch that rubber band. We can't seem to have a happy medium here. Um, just all or nothing all the time. And of course, earnings definitely inspire that kind of price action. So keep that in mind. So also uh, watch right in here. Remember, we have a big open window to the downside as well to, to consider in the market. But I think Higher is where the market wants to go, and um, I would expect we're going to see those diamonds um, hit some new record highs uh, maybe by the end of the week, so if not today. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today, and this is going to be an important day on the economic calendar. We've got a bunch of reports here to think about. First, um, ADP, ADP number coming out this morning. Um, obviously, that has a potential of moving us around. I, it, it usually doesn't move us tremendously. We have PMI manufacturing, the big one for today, ISM manufacturing number at 10 o'clock a.m., you want to keep an eye on that one. And then uh, construction spending in the EIA petroleum status report, as we know, can move those oil companies around. Um, and 
uh, with oil prices where they are, that's a fairly significant uh, thing to be concerned about. We'll want to keep an eye on that. And then the Mac Daddy of the day, we have the FOMC announcement. Jerome Powell coming out to tell us whether or not we're going to uh, change rates. Now, the market is largely expecting no rate change. Even though the president is out there pounding on the podium uh, that the FOMC should lower interest rates and start a QE program, I think that's pretty unlikely. As a matter of fact, I think there's probably, with the market pushing uh, new highs like this, uh, with um, um, unemployment at, at near record lows, um, I, th I think there's uh, probably more of a likelihood that their statement could be a little bit, um, show signs of hawking, hawkishness in it, a little bit more warning to be cautious or uh, thinking about uh, rate increases in the future. So we'll have to watch that closely. That can certainly create some volatility today and we'll want to watch it. Now, I think the big question is, can we maintain this bullish mood this morning? Can we, can we uh, gap up and then continue to push higher this morning with the FOMC pending this afternoon, or will we gap up this morning and just kind of die on the vine and just kind of do a lot of sideways grinding around and chopping while we wait for that FOMC? That's the big question of the day. We'll have to watch and wait for that. Remember, the Fed chair has a uh, press conference, so that volatility can remain um, all the way through that press conference today. Keep an eye on that. Let's take a look um, at that earnings calendar today. We have about 350, a little over 350 companies reporting earnings today. So a massive wave of earnings um, still rolling through the market. And that will continue tomorrow with over 400 companies reporting. So keep that in mind. We're, we're very subject to big gap ups and big gap downs on the day. Now, um, as we as we roll through these earnings this morning, futures have been staying positive. Um, right now, Dow futures up 83 points, and so we're looking pretty strong this morning. And with the Nasdaq futures up 52 points, holy cow! Looking pretty strong this morning as we head into that open. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click on that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Thank you so much to everyone. You guys humble me every day when you write such nice comments on these videos. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. I do try to answer all of them. I must admit, as it gets, it's getting busier and busier, it's getting harder and harder to answer them all. But I wanna thank you all so much for doing that and supporting the channel. Um, I don't make money from this channel. That's not my in intention. My intention is truly to help other traders and uh, provide some good quality information out there without all of the hype and drama that you find um, in some of uh, these videos nowadays on social media. Like they, like they never make a bad trade. Like they're always, you know, top dog. They always win. Well, we all know that's baloney. And uh, that's not the real market. So I wanted to provide something um, uh, of better quality uh, for folks out there that are really striving to learn and improve their trading. So if you find these things helpful, please uh, make sure and um, click that thumbs up and leave a comment. And also feel free to share this video with any friends and family out there. Share it on your Facebook feed and your Twitter feed. And I thank you very much for that. Let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up. Now, uh, um, on my charting platform, this is TC2000, if you guys uh, didn't know that. Um, and I use TC2000 uh, quite a lot, and I set a lot of alerts and on, on charts. And one of the reasons I do that is I, I seriously try to make trades come to me. I don't try to chase trades. I don't want to chase trades. Um, um, what I want to do is make those trades come to me. So I look for those charts that are potentially setting up and I set a price alert on them. So let's take a look at a few of those that may be setting up. Now keep in mind, any of these charts that I bring up to, to you um, are meant to, to go into your watch list. These are not a, a reason to buy or sell. 
anything, these are something to go on your watch list to pay attention to, to make an evaluation yourself to see whether or not they fit you for a potential trade. And um, sometimes, um, well, a lot of times I, I mention trades that are just getting to the point where they're setting up. Um, and that's the way I prefer to trade rather than chasing trades already moving. So let's take a look. ConAgra here. ConAgra, nice little consolidating move pullback toward its trend. A little bit of a bullish candle yesterday. So I placed alert right in here. Now, some folks will ask, why did you place your alert right there? And the reason I did is notice that I, all of the touches to that line from every one of these candles, there is a level right through there. And if I can get um, a, a signal when the stock, if the stock can pop up through here, that's where I want to be entering that trade with a low risk entry. My stop loss will be nice and tight on something like that. And that's what I'm looking for um, in a chart. Um, I'm always looking for charts trending and setting up some type of pattern. Take a look at eBay. eBay was a chart that was brought uh, to me by um, a member of Rightway Options yesterday during the live class. I want to thank them for that. Um, beautiful chart set up here on eBay. Nice little pop up on earnings. Tight little consolidation right around um, um, price highs. And then that bullish candle pushing on through. So it looks like what we're doing right now is we're setting up that trend right in here. Now it's possible because this is such a quick move up, it it is entirely possible that we can see a chart like this pop through and then just continue to consolidate sideways and before it finally picks up where it wants to trend from there. So watch that. But right now we have a very good signal here on the chart and an opportunity uh, maybe here in eBay to pay attention to. Take a look at Nike. Nike holding this nice uh, trend here uh, popped up just a nice pop-up a pullback sliding over toward its trend watch this closely now i don't know where this might take off or if it will take off but we'll want to watch it somewhere in this area next few days or something like that watch for that potential buy signal to occur in here now if that were to fail and that's why we wait for trades to come to us we don't anticipate trades if this were to fail and fail on through well we just have to wait for the next um, time when this um, gets itself in a, into a correct pattern again. But um, we don't anticipate those entries. We wait for those entries just in case. It cannot make it happen and those bears take over in the chart. So that's why I, I make those trades come to me. I don't try to anticipate them. Let's take a look at Microsoft. Microsoft been moving up nicely. Great earnings report that they had and moved up sharply and consolidating here sideways. Now you can see a nice bullish candle yesterday. I think there still is a significant chance that um, Microsoft will either con consolidate or continue to move back toward its trend. Um, you just look how consistently the, this stock finds its trend. In some way or another, it's going to come back here. So we may want to watch this, but I'm not sure it's quite ready to just jump on it yet. There could be a couple more weeks of rest or consolidation in the chart. Take a look at ADP. ADP, really nice looking chart. Moving up in a trend after this nice breakout here. Holding well, moving over to its trend have a little hammer pattern here showing up at the end of the day yesterday. Any follow through to this to the upside could be an opportunity. Um, so make that trade come to you. Watch for that breakout on that position. How about this STZ? STZ has just been a beautiful trade. And if you guys remember, I have been notifying on this trade all along, uh, notifying when we broke here, when we broke here, all of these pink lines on here are alerts. And you can see we have this nice little, uh, a nice pop-up that we've made here. Um, watch for this consolidation or pullback to continue. 
and then we want to watch for that potential trade to set up very much like this in the trade now one thing about this chart is that it's moved up so steeply as we could see a longer consolidation here or a longer pullback so don't rush into this trade wait for the signal if it's there it's there if it's not it's not don't worry about it Last but not least, I'm going to show you um, a chart, and there's several more, uh, lots more actually, in my alerts console. But if you take a look at LMT, LMT gap on earnings, nice little tight consolidation, moving over toward trend, uh, nice little pop here um, yesterday um, in that price action. So I would think um, um, LMT is looking uh, for some new highs in here, maybe even testing this high up here. LMT looking pretty strong. Now, don't be too surprised because the way I've got this trend drawn, we can easily see a pop like that and then just a little more pullback. But it looks like LMT is going to open about where it closed this morning and um, is looking pretty strong. So one to keep an eye on there for Lockheed Martin. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. And again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, make sure you click that subscribe button. And, and, and for everyone, please feel free to leave a comment. I truly appreciate that. If you're struggling as a trader, just never give up on yourself. Keep working really, really hard. Study price action. If there was one thing that changed my life completely, it was removing all the prediction and all the idea that I could predict the market and just working to study the price action and follow it rather than trying to predict it so much easier um, one phrase that I'll leave you with that really changed my life there can be no easier way to make money in the market than to simply find a stock that's trending and wait for the next entry into the trade that changed my life folks when I finally figured that out everyone have a great day I wish you all the best and we'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning take care now